Hi, I'm Brian Alexander. And I'm Allison Lakin, and we're editors at driverside.com. And you're watching a driverside how-to video. Hi, my name is Kim. I am the in-house mechanic for driverside.com. Today I am going to teach you how to check the fluids in your car. So there are several fluids to be checked in the engine compartment of a car. The main ones are the engine oil and the transmission fluid. Uh, there's a few others, but I'll go over those as we get you in closer here to take a closer look. And I'll explain what they are and how they're important to check. Okay, so now we're gonna check the engine oil on this car. Uh, you can do this with the car turned off and it can be warm or it can be cold, doesn't matter. So find the engine oil dipstick and pull it out. You wanna clean it off and then you wanna check and see what your low and high oil marks are. And you wanna keep the oil uh, near the high mark obviously, but not over it. So uh, once you've dried it off, you want to put it back in there. This car, I have to use a flashlight to put it back in there because the dipstick holder is buried down in the exhaust manifold. So there you go, you put it back in and then you pull it out and you check where the oil is between the marks. And you can see this one is, there's the low mark there and there's the high mark and we're just below the high mark, which in this case is fine for this car. And that is how to check the oil on your car. Okay, so now we're gonna check the transmission fluid. This is an automatic transmission, so we can check it. If you have a manual transmission, you don't wanna check it. You wanna leave that for your mechanic. It's a little tougher, more complicated than an automatic transmission. So most cars, you need to check the automatic transmission fluid with the car running. On this car, we don't need to do that. But on yours, you probably do. So you want to check your owner's manual and that will tell you how to do it and it will also tell you where the dipstick is. In this case, I know where the dipstick is on this one, so we can check it right now. So we find the dipstick, um, we wipe it off, we look for the low and high levels. There's a low level here and a high level here. So clean it off and then we'll put it back in and check it. After we put it back in, we pulled it back out, and as you can see, the level is right at the high level, so this is the perfect amount of fluid to have in here. If you're checking an auto automatic transmission and it's cold and it's near the top, do not fill it up anymore, because when it warms up, it will come to the upper level. So now we wanna check the other fluids on the car. The other fluids that we're going to check, it's just a check, it's not refill or top off. The reason for that is, is because these fluids, if there's something wrong with them, if they're low, it probably means there's something wrong with the car. It either has a leak or something's worn out and your mechanic should check it. You should not refill these. So in this case, uh, for the best example here to start with is the brake master cylinder. These are usually clear white plastic containers that have a minimum and maximum line on those. And this is just a take note of it, and if it's low, bring it to your mechanic. This particular car has a power steering fluid reservoir as well, has a low and high on it, easy to check and see. Most cars have something similar. Uh, and this has a coolant reservoir, most cars have this as well, has a min and max line down lower. And again, I don't want you refilling your coolant necessarily, because if it's low, there's probably a problem. You should bring it into your mechanic so you don't get stranded on the road because you spring a leak later. So, um, yeah, these are basically what I'm saying is take note of the other fluids in your car besides the engine oil or automatic transmission fluid. Take note of them. If they're low, bring it into your mechanic. Bring the car into your mechanic to have it worked on or checked out. And that's how to check the fluids on your motor.